Okay, so parts laid out here for uh, issue 27 of the Valentino Rossi MotoGP bike. Uh, yeah, it's more parts for the engine, looks like. It's gear lever and sump parts. Um, yeah, uh, and another tiny little micro switch. Yeah, with these connectors, I've got to be very delicate and very aware of, I guess, the connectors. I don't know how they're going to go on. Uh, but yeah, gear lever and some parts. We're getting these fitted to this engine, so this will be the uh, build for uh, issue 27. Okay, well it kind of shows, and it's a bit confusing, it kind of shows this going together, and then a screw going through it. It doesn't mean to do it as part of kind of instruction number two. It doesn't mean you do it at this point, it means you're gonna, that's how it's gonna fit together. So you're not doing this, although it kind of confusingly kind of shows it, because I thought, well, if you do that, how are you gonna get that through the engine? You're not going to at this point. So it's a little bit confusing. So step two, you don't actually do. It's literally just showing kind of what you what it'll end up be. What you do is you bring your engine over, okay, and you are locate where this is going to go in. So it's going to go in this hole here. So there's a little hole, hole in the side of the engine next to this anodized bolt, and the gear lever selector goes through there. kind of in that orientation, kind of like that. Okay, so it kind of goes like that, I think, at this point. Okay. Then what you do is you take the actuator that we got, or this tiny little piece that's gonna actually actuate or act on the micro switch that's internal to the uh, engine block, and then you're going to use the Allen key to uh, put it all together. So there should be inside there, this little micro switch. I think I can hold it like that quite successfully. Yeah. And then the actuator, which is this part here, obviously, just not the camera slightly, is gonna go on. And that kind of orientation, so this, Oh my god. Uh, Alright, so you kind of got to orientate it without seeing it. That's it. And then tighten up. It says not to tighten up too tight because it's got to move, which is obviously, yeah. bit too tight I think could it stay in there oh, and then it's kind of a weird one because I'm gonna take it apart I'm just gonna check if there's any kind of movement on it when it's fully uh, assembled. There might be a little bit of movement on it, even when it's fully assembled, you know. No, it's actually quite solid when it's fully assembled correctly. So I'm just trying to get it in the correct orientation. So when it's down like that, okay, okay, I got it. I think you've just got to be the correct orientation. And it's going to be quite difficult to get that when it's in, obviously.
Yeah, it doesn't look like what the picture looks like because the picture has the in that orientation there. Almost in fact. No, it's completely the wrong way. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. I may have put this in the wrong orientation. I don't know. I'm going to have to compare it to the picture. Quite difficult, this, because it's not ideal. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep it like that. It's, it's not quite at the angle that it shows in the magazine as the finished article. But it does operate the micro switch. So, as you can hear, it does operate the micro switch. And it's got a bit of movement on it. So, I'm going to keep it like that. I don't, I'm not sure it's exactly how it should be, but as good as it's going to get for me. As you can see, in the magazine it's a bit more up, but, okay. All right, so what else we got to do? We've got to take the micro switch holder or bracket, which is this black part, okay. And we've got to push the micro switch into it. I'm just looking if we do anything with this. Oh, the sump cover. I don't think we do anything with the sump cover at this point, which we got obviously in this issue. No, all you've got to do is press the micro switch into the holder. So that's how that goes in. It looks like that. Okay, and that is issue 27.